Okay, so this is a first in a series, or actually I'll put all these together. So it's the first part of our water harvesting video series. So what has been done so far is, actually let me explain what we're gonna do. So we want to harvest water from the rain gutters, put it in this IBC tote, and run electric and connect up a pump so that down here at the bottom we can pump uphill, get aside, a garden area that's going to be put in over there. So that is the ultimate goal. So what has been done so far is the downspouts right here, the gutters, the downspouts were up front on both sides. So what we did is we removed them from both sides and flipped them around so that now it is coming down in the back section here. So we did that last weekend. Also, my father-in-law went and leveled and put blocks down. So everything is level here and put the, uh, dang, I forget what you call it, the shade cloth, not shade cloth, but weed barrier cloth down underneath and then the mulch on top of that to hold it down. So hopefully that will take care of any weed issues here. So the plan is to put in a Y section right about here. Uh, on the far side of the Y section, or to my left here, we'll have the downspout continue down, and it will run down during the winter because we have to worry about freezing and stuff. During the summer, when we want to collect water, the, it will be diverting to the right side, and we're going to do elbows right around this corner here and divert the water over here, and we have a uh, got a, a water diverter system which is going to clean the first little bit that comes off there. I'll get the exact name in the next video and I'll show you how all that gets put together. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start building and I'll try to take some videos as I go along here. Okay, so what I have right here is what's called a diverter. So I have this side right here which goes down and let's out that's for the winter and then the side over here will be will hook up to a piece of three inch pvc and go off that way and that's where our water catchment will be and up here we have a switch so this i'm calling it a switch it's not really a switch but a lever or whatever so in this position it's coming down this side if we pull it out and move it over then it's coming down this side. So, so right now, until I finish the project, I'll let it come down its normal side. I miscalculated over here, which is a bit of a mistake when you're out in the boonies like I am. So my, let me reach around here. So my initial plan was to have 90 degrees, so two 90s here. I was going to come down and out like that and then over. But if you can tell, I am a good foot off here. And right where my thumb is, that's only an uh, inch, inch and a half there. So even with a shorter tube, that's going to cause an issue for me. So let me toss that one aside. I do have a fix. The fix is I had a 45 and a 90. So the 45 and 90, oops, it's tough doing this on a ladder. My 45 and a 90 will allow me to go across there. Uh, and have just a little bit of offset. The downside to that is I needed the 45 to come, I'm gonna have uh, uh, the pipe going across here. I needed a 45 to come out and down in as the final step into the IBC water tote here. So I might be able to substitute that with 90s because now I have extra 90s, but if not, that's gonna push this project off to another day. Today is Sunday and like I say, living in a, out in the boondocks, I do have a hardware store in the southern states in town, which is 10 miles away. Both of them are closed on Sunday. So the next option is a Lowe's, which is about an hour's drive one way. So that's a uh, two hours round trip and just not worth it for this trip because I, I need to head out back to Maryland here in the next uh, hour and a half, two hours. So we'll see how much we can get done here. And by the way, I, I have this one over here that I just showed you. And I have a mirror image over here on this side. So I'm gonna be going all the way across the back here and we'll be collecting water off of the entire roof and going in IBC tote. Uh, so that's it for this section. I'll come back in a little while once I get a little more done.
Okay, I'm back. I've done a little bit more work here. I've got everything roughed in here. So far, I have glued both of these joints right here. I do not intend on gluing this one. That's going to be a clean out spot for me. I have braces in holding it up. I have it level here. And the only reason I have it level, I wouldn't put it at a slant to get the water moving better. But I'm coming in to a T right here. And because of that, I can't have a slant. I would have to have a Y, and I, I, there wouldn't be one with the angle I wanted. So I have the same thing here. Again, this spot right here is going to be a clean out for me. So I have that joint right there glued, and it's held up. I do want to put another brace here. I also want to add some gutter guards to prevent some, all the additional crap from just coming down the gutter and possibly clogging it up and getting into my pipes. So our first line of defense here uh, is this screen device here. And actually, I'm gonna pause now and get the name of this. Okay, this device right here is called a leaf eater. And I just picked it up on Amazon. And the goal here is I am completely open right here and I come out and hopefully you can see it there's a screen here and then inside the screen there's a little basin that puts me back into the tube so any debris or anything that comes in water will go through and the other stuff will just kind of fall off it's at kind of an angle here and go out the next line of defense is this tube going down which is called first flush and let me get a look at that. So first flush, it has all the inner pieces, but not the tube itself. So it has this T and it has the pieces at the bottom. And I'm going to go over what is in that in a couple of minutes in a separate video segment here, because there's a lot of stuff going on inside, but that will get out all of the rest of the stuff, the residue and all. And what happens is when you initially get a rain, because of the T, it's going to go straight down and it's gonna fill up with all the initial pollen and any other crap that gets past that filter there, and it's gonna fill this tube up. And then once the tube is filled up, you'll divert across this T here. But inside, there is a ball, and the ball is gonna float, and there's a little piece in here, and I'll show you more details on this when I put it together. But basically, it's gonna clog up the lower part here and keep all the crap from going into our water tank. So once that's full, we divert over to our water tank and we come in here. One additional thing I want to do is, here's the cap, either drill a hole in here and put a screen on it or put a screen up here just to keep any bugs and mosquitoes and anything else out. So uh, a couple things on the to-do list here yet. I still have some other pieces I want to glue up. I did glue up the T there. I haven't glued anything on this bottom piece yet because I still need to put it together. Also, there's braces that say that uh, they say will hold this together. I'm not sure. I'm going to use the braces. I'm not sure if I'm going to trust the weight on it. So right now, I just kind of have it sitting on a cement block. Uh, as far as level, one other thing I forgot is you want this to be level up and down. And I have that perfectly level going across, be, again, because I have the T in the center. If you're only doing one of them, you can go a little bit of an angle. There. So that's it for now. I'll come back with another segment in a little. Okay, here's the first flush kit as far as uh, the pieces that I'm going to be using, minus the uh, three inch pipe that's going to go in between. So the bottom piece consists of uh, this right here and Actually, before I get into the first flush kit, there's an additional charge or extra pieces you can get for extra screen. So I went ahead and got this just to keep extra crap from getting into, uh, from clogging up the entire system. So I'm going to put that in first and let me see how well I can do this one handed here. So once that's in, put a washer in. And then you screw this on. Yeah, this is not going to work one-handed, so I will uh, do the best I can explaining, and then I'll give you a, a shot afterwards after it's put together. Once that's all screwed in, you put this one up, and this is, again, netting. Uh, let me get in close here so you can see it's very, very fine. So this one is much 
a little more coarse, that one's fine. And then, let's see. Then I have a couple things here, and if you can see, there's a hole in there. And there's a hole in all these, and they're different size holes. That's what allows this to be automatic, so you don't have to empty it all the time. So, uh, the washer with the hole goes in here, screws into the bottom piece. That way, if you remember, we had the T connection that fills up. That's going to slowly leak, and you adjust it based on how much stuff you have in. If you have more stuff, you put in bigger holes, and uh, based on how much you get clogged up. That way, if you rain for three, four hours, this is gonna be filled up. You're gonna fill your tote or your water catchment system. After it stops, within a couple of hours, this will drain out, and that way it automatically is drained and it catches the next uh, load of crap coming from your roof. So, the other piece I was talking about, here's a T that comes with it. It's a special T because it has these little ribs in it, and this, sets in there, and I'm not going to get it, that's not too bad, and then this ball which floats. And so this is on the top side like this, with that on the bottom, facing the bottom. So as the water comes up, it's going to clog that up and that prevents any leaves or anything that's floating from getting into your water tank. It actually prevents it. So really, really cool design here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sh let me screw all this together and uh, show you what it looks like once it's put together. Okay, back here with another section. I have this fully together. This shows you all of the pieces, spare parts, and everything else that ha are with it. These are the clamps over here. I can use these, these two vertically and this one horizontally for the one going over towards the actual IBC tote itself. Uh, there's one other piece which actually goes into the gut to a gutter, but I don't have that here. That's at my house across the street. So this is what it looks like here. The uh, stainless steel mesh doesn't really sit in there tight, but it is. It, it does prevent stuff from getting out. And then you can see the other screen in between. And then there's the hose out. Uh, you can actually see a little bit of daylight through there, just squeaking through. So the whole point is is to make sure that little itty bitty hole right there doesn't get clogged up and you actually empty this thing out and it does it is automatic and you can see there are several different uh, sizes here I went with the largest of the black I could have gone with the red uh, red ones they recommend starting out with the smallest that you can and then go up and as it clogs uh, you'll have to go up in size so it doesn't clog anymore so definitely keep keep these around for future use and future adjustment and I put this piece in uh, into the T so that's where the ball comes up and sets in there and you can see it sits flush so the water uh, can can come in and the way I'm gonna have it set up is this is the top coming down it'll fill up and once the water or once the ball fills up then it's going to come out here and go over to the IBC tote so that's it for now okay guys everything's just about done here uh, I'm just wrapping up and cleaning up wanted to show you that Let's set this down real quick I glued this joint this joint that joint I did not glue the T going out this way because there's gonna be more adjustments and stuff depending on what we do out here and I glued the bottom one down here and the bottom one is gonna have the most weight here uh, I have one bracket here and one bracket here right at the T so it's glued and I imagine this one's gonna hold the most weight so I am gonna give it a try without the cement block and we'll see how it goes here uh, everything is all set uh, I use the other bracket holding up the wood here and that's just to hold my weight here I'm a little bit below level so I do have a little bit of an angle towards the IBC tote and I, again I still need a screen here to keep critters and stuff out so that'll that wood will hold help hold some of the weight and I went up and I changed the switch up there if you'll notice it's to the right now so I when we get rain it will divert in here and hopefully fill it up so a couple other things. If you'll notice, this IBC tote has a nice little handle here. That's cool for shutting it on and off. But the, the uh, 
connector here. It is threaded, but it's not anything you can hook a hose up to. So I have this right here. I got it, one of them from the guy that sold the totes to me. Threaded, uh, a couple different adapters and stuff. So I'm gonna go to Home Depot or Lowe's when I get home and figure out what parts this is. And in the blog post at greatescapefarms.com, I will post up the parts list of everything. Actually, I'll use the parts list for everything I have here, just so you know exactly what I used in my particular installation. So let me put this cap back on here. So I will be taking this with me just so I can get what I need. Also, we ordered this for my father-in-law. It is a 400, or I'm sorry, 1450, 1450 gallons per hour, half horsepower um, mo pump and you, it plugs in and it hooks up to a garden style hose so the thought is to connect this piece via a hose to that pump and then he can pump uphill so this is our pump i still need to get electric run here i have the wire both on the back side of this wall and the back side of where it's going i just need to connectorize it on both ends and for right now he can use an extension cord but if we get a good rain uh he's kind of set to go so that's it for this series and again check out the blog post at greatescapefarms.com and i will have the parts list and additional details that i forgot to include in the video there's always something that i forgot to include so hope you guys have a good one Hey guys, this is the last part of the video here. I wanted to show you a few things. So I bought this piece to go into the top part of the gutter. And this is just going to keep the big stuff from going down into the gutter and getting down. And then I have enough other smaller filter pieces that will prevent it from getting into the tank. But this is going to be the first line of defense to keep stuff out of the gutters. And then I talked about the, uh, the nozzle, uh, the spigot at the bottom of the IBC tote and it was all I had was a glued together bunch of pieces to show you so I wanted to show you the individual pieces here so since I needed another I went ahead and uh, wrote down what they were so the first one is a female adapter it's two inch PVC on one side and then it's threaded on the other so the threaded side is what actually goes onto the IBC tote the non-threaded side or here the regular PVC you take this other piece and this is called a bushing and that's two inches on the outside by three quarter inch spigot thread on the inside and what that does is that actually pushes down in here I'm not gonna push it too much because I don't want it to get stuck and I ultimately want it glued so that would get pushed down in there ultimately it's gonna end up being flat there yeah, I just can't do that one-handed and then the spigot itself, you put some uh, plumbing plumber's tape around the threads here, and you go ahead and you thread it in. And then at that point, this gets threaded on the IBC tote, and you have a spigot sticking out. Although that looks all crooked and all, because it is, I only did it with one hand, but that's the pieces that you need to put it together. So I believe that's everything that I was going to put in this video, so uh, if you guys have any questions, put the comments down below and please visit greatescapefarms.com to visit the blog post where I have more information and hopefully I'll, I'll be able to put a parts list together on this. So thanks for watching.